Howdy gang, in today's episode of Pool School, I am gonna answer a question from one of my subscribers who asks, what should I be testing my pool water for on a weekly basis? So that's what this video is about. Let's get to it. Okay, so I think this is probably gonna be a pretty short video, but before we get going, I wanna thank you again for watching. Remind you to like this video if you do. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already, and please share my channel with everybody you know who owns a pool. Alrighty, so as I said, one of my subscribers emailed me and asked me, what are the things that he should be testing his pool water for on a weekly basis? Now mind you, I test pool water in three different categories. Weekly, which is just every week, whether it's swim season or not swim season. And then there's certain things that you wanna test for on a monthly basis. And then there's certain things you wanna test for seasonally, pre-season, before the swim season starts, and post-season, after the swim season is over. In this video, I'm talking specifically about the weekly things that you need to test for, okay? And there's only four, whether you have a salt-based pool or a chlorine-based pool, it's the same four, okay? So I'm gonna go over those four right now, and then I'm gonna tell you what I use to test them. The four are total chlorine, free chlorine, pH, and alkalinity. Again, total chlorine, free chlorine, pH, and alkalinity, all right? Total chlorine is the chlorine that is total, the total amount of chlorine in your pool, including the chlorine that is available to be used and the chlorine that has already attached itself to water molecules, okay? Free chlorine is the available chlorine. It has not yet attached to a water molecule in order to purify it, okay? pH and alkalinity, they're pretty self-explanatory. And as far as adding those chemicals and how to adjust that chemistry, I have done videos on all of those and I'll put links to those in the description below this video. So please watch that, those, video, those videos if you have not done so. And again, there are ways to adjust chlorine, right? We're using chlorine tablets, liquid chlorine, granular chlorine, adjusting the pH without messing with the alkalinity and vice versa, adjusting the alkalinity, <clears throat> excuse me, without messing with the pH, okay? So those are the four things you need to test for. Now, my recommendation on what you should use to test for them because of cost is the AquaCheck 7. Another name for them is the AquaCheck Silver. I think they're called the AquaCheck Silver because the label is silver right there. <clears throat> you can find these online all the time. Just do a Google search for AquaCheck 7 test strips and you'll find them all over the place. Now, the reason I recommend these for you is because these come 100 in a tube. So if you're testing your pool water on a weekly basis, these should last you just under two years, providing you store them in a dry um, place that's not exposed to the elements. Um, now, this tests for a few more things that you don't need to test for on a weekly basis, but, the, but rather than buy a, a set of test strips, two different sets of test strips. Now this is what I use, they're the AquaCheck Pro. This is what I use on a weekly basis. And the reason I use these is because I go through so many of them with my clients and I only need to check for those four things on a weekly basis. And then once, uh, twice a season, I will use these to test for cyanuric acid and total water hardness, pre-season and post-season. So there I gave away my other video. So pre and post-season, you're gonna be testing for cyanuric acid and total water hardness, because that's gonna help you determine whether or not you need to change your water or not, and whether or not you need to add cyanuric acid or not, okay? But you don't need to do that every single um, week, all right? The other thing, if you have a salt pool, on a monthly basis, you're gonna to wanna to test for your salinity, especially in the summer months, you want to get a test the salinity. You can take that water sample into your pool supply store and have them test it. But again, whether you have a salt pool or a chlorine pool, the only four things you need to test for are total chlorine, free chlorine, pH, and alkalinity. So that really is the answer to that question. And that's really my video on this subject. Again, like I said, I recommend the AquaCheck 7 test strips for you because you only have to buy one tube but they'll last you close to two years. And um, they also allow you to test for those seasonal things as well. The only other thing they don't allow you to test for, and neither one of these does, is phosphates. Excuse me, phosphates. And again, if you've not seen my video on algae and algicides, I'll put a link to that one below as well. And you should watch that one because I talk about phosphates. And really, there's another one about um, keeping your phosphate levels low. I'll put a link to that one as well. And you should watch that one. That one's pretty short. But again, 
you don't need a fancy test kit to test for phosphates as long as you just maintain your, your phosphate remover. But that's just another subject in that other video. So anyway, there you have it. I hope that answers your question and I hope it helps all of you to know how to test your pool water on a weekly basis and what you need to be testing for. It's not rocket science. If it was, I wouldn't be doing this, all right? Anyway, thanks again for watching. I want to remind you again to like, subscribe, and share my channel. And as always, we're starting to get to spring, so please remember, as a pool owner, have fun, be safe, and always, always, always watch those kids and elderly people and pets around water. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.